the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear loving brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the Gospel passage for today's reflection is in Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 20. This passage is taken from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Presents Jesus as giving the highest compliments to the Mosaic Law. Originally, the laws were given through Moses and the prophets as a means to live a life with an intimate relationship with our God and with others. But over the period of time, these laws were transformed into hundreds and hundreds of rules and interpretations. During Jesus' time, the Pharisee and the scribes gave more importance to interpretations and oral laws. They thought that Jesus came to abolish the rules of Old Testament. That is why he was constantly and continuously accused by the scribes and the Pharisees of not following the law. As we know that Jesus does not come to abolish this God-given law, but to fulfill, to show us how to live righteously in our own relationship with our God, with our neighbors, and with our fellow other creations. The law is about holiness and loving relationship. You know, when it is turned into something other than that, it becomes destructive. You know, the law becomes problematic when it is used to demonize or exclude rather than include and emperize. It became about power and self-righteousness, not freedom and relationship. The problem is not the law itself, but how it is interpreted. Jesus promises that the law will not be thrown out rather than the law will be lived in a way that perfects and sanctifies. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was always open to the good in everything rather than abolishing something because it was less than perfect. He worked to bring the good that was there to completion. When the people of Israel failed to live up their calling Jesus saw the good in them and worked to bring, into, bring it to perfection. My dear friends, there is a lesson for all of us. We must, like Jesus, be ambassadors of holiness. Our calling is to recognize the good wherever it is to be found, even when it is hidden or clouded by other realities. And having recognized that good, to call it forth by our loving attentiveness. God bless you.